And the charm I had wasn't that great anyway. It was a uh, plus six to life, so I ended up selling it. Uh, one of my grand charms actually gives me plus ten to life. Uh, so it wasn't better than anything else I had. Do you see a dead end room right here? Let's go in there and make sure there's nothing here. Nope. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, I just ended up selling it. Actually, nothing I picked up was particularly good. That was a particularly bad, uh, bad set of items, I guess, that I picked up. And who are you, Star Tongue? You got stone skin. It'll just take you a while to die. But I doubt you're going to hit me. Like, ever. you didn't. You have an axe on you, and a r another regular healing potion. We are definitely getting to the point now where um, I might not even need to pick up the light healing potions. I'm going to go for just the, uh, the regular healing potions because I have so many of them right now. Uh, they, yeah, you, you, we'll, we'll definitely get to a point where we need to upgrade the healing potions again. Remember how I did that with the, the mana, or sorry, the miner to the light. Uh, potions. Just got rid of them. We'll get to that point eventually. And in this game, I typically like to go for uh, characters that uh, don't use that much magic because uh, y y you only get four slots. I don't like thinking about back and forth. Uh, what do I need mana or anything like that? So I like going for just the, the, the pure physical fighters. Uh, even though the paladin technically isn't a pure physical fighter. You know what I mean? Because he... he He's not going to be using that much mana, is, I guess, my point. So I don't have to worry about that. Other characters are heavily reliant on mana. Oh, just a on fire. I thought I was going to shoot a firebolt at me. Uh, so I, I don't like those characters. That's just my personal preference. I'm sure a lot of people really like uh, the, the mage-type characters in this game. Well, I, there, there's got to be. <laughs> I see them all the time. Uh, but... I personally don't like those because I, I like having just uh, ha just to keep track of my health and not my mana as well. What the hell? Was that you? There's a superior targe here. Damn it. I know I can make room for the superior targe, even though I have the superior raw dash. I, I want to take a look at this anyway. Our resistance is uh, maximum turn. That's not that great, actually. Uh, what is this? 12? Yeah, even though it's socketed... No. No. That's too bad. What about this long staff, actually? Damn it. Why do you make me play Tetris? How good are you? How You are damn good. Like, really good. That will sell for quite a bit. That long staff. Long staffs do sell. So next time I come across it, I'm going to have to go back to town. That kind of disappoints me. I've been going to town a lot this session. Uh, let's go through here. I know where I'm going, I swear. Now this is definitely the part where the, the levels start to get a lot better. Apparently I closed the door instead of attacking. It's totally what I wanted to do. Another... I can't, carry any. can't carry the chipped diamond. Don't have any room here. Alright, let's use one of my scrolls of identify on Shopo. I refuse to go back to town if I don't have to. It's n it doesn't even take me that long. Here's what a normal The Banished looks like. Um, th yeah, they're green right now. Lock chest. Nothing that great. Take on more afflicted. I think we've seen those before. Either way, they're not that much more powerful than the last set that we saw. Nothing in those treasure chests. Once again, just so many empty treasure chests. And damn, that is a lot of the Banished. Now, I do not like the Banished. They remind me a lot of the uh, of the enemies that we faced at the end of Diablo 1, except that they do not teleport. Their only attack is to cast all this fire. They do tend to run away a lot. It is a special one. I want to take out the rest of them first, just because I hate, I hate the, the whole thing. Oh, and he's lightning and shooting. Looks like I am dodging it, though. Um, I was told, and yeah, it's pretty true that the uh, the spot where you want to be 
in order to dodge the lightning is pretty much exactly at a 45 degree angle but it's it's hard to to predict that sometimes and especially on enemies that run away i do want to pick up that eagle orb so i'll be right back once again wait no he's over here die no seriously die why aren't you dead yet okay now i'll be right back now the catacombs i believe have uh five levels but it could be six. Could be, this, this one I'm not too sure about. Because they are so long, I kind of get disillusioned with how many there could be. Doesn't look like I've gone down here. Let's go down here first. Because I'm sure this is this is just a dead end, eventually. Die, banished. Die. I hate you. And I, have, I don't have my area of effect skill yet. I'm getting close to it. Oh, we got a cold enchanter here. A uh, spectral hit. Uh, I forget exactly what that does, but it's definitely poisoning me and putting cold on me right now. I don't need to heal there. Damn it. Die. Ooh, ring back. Nope. No. No running. Damn it, Tomb Growler. Die. What did you drop? Short. Another light. Oh, chainmail was not worth it. Healing potion, that can go. See, already we're very, very close to not needing those lights anymore. Uh, no, I'm done with rejuvenation potions for now. Until at least we get uh, get, get to the crafting. Cracked fang horn. Helm, sorry. I don't know why I said horn. But, yeah, I guess I'll hold on to it. Don't stand into the fire too long, you will get hurt. Believe it or not, fire hot. And we are... Oh, almost done here. We need to go up here, take on some more ghouls. Here we go. Uh, the way to, to shatter them into cold is is to have uh, your mercenary, if you, if you have a mercenary with cold, is, or w whatever, to get them in cold and then smash them with a blunt weapon. Uh, that's... I think it has to be a blunt weapon, to be honest with you. Uh, that's the way to, to shatter them into cold. It looks real cool. There's no real point to it unless uh, unless they could be resurrected. Outside of that, um, it just looks cooler than a normal death. Really. All right, let's go up the middle here. Another casket. Ooh, zombie head. I can pick that up, right? Yeah. Just barely, though. Jeez. Find a lot better items here. I don't have anything that gives me plus to finding magic items. If I did, I would have it. Trust me, those. That is amongst the, my favorite uh, upgrades in the game. A percentage increase drops of magic items. Because even if the rest of the stuff that is on that is bad, you can find something better because now you have, you know, a plus 30% chance that ma that magic items are going to drop. But unfortunately, I only have a plus extra extra gold right now. And of course, it's always a percent. Which is why, you know, I don't know if the drop rates or anything like that. And there is a hunter's bow that I want, so I am going to have to go back to town once again. Now, there were a couple items in town with uh, bonuses that I did want to go over. Uh, just a little bit. Uh, one of them had knockback uh, that I saw. I am not a fan of knockback uh, for a melee character because you want to stay in melee range. And in order to do that, you don't want your enemy being knocked back every time you hit it. You know what I mean? So, knockback to me is not uh, good for a melee character, but I've yet to see a knockback on a ranged weapon. But, if you've got uh, a character that has a melee weapon that uh, open that has bonuses to, to magic and that kind of stuff, so that's why you have it, then it's good. But, for me, I like doing damage by actually hitting stuff. So, I, I don't like knockback. Uh, another thing that I did see... What was the other one I wanted to talk about? Oh, hit causes monster to flee a percentage of the time. Pretty much the same thing as knockback. Not for me. I want you to die so that I can loot your corpse. I don't, I don't want you 
to run away whenever I come. You know what I mean? Whenever I hit you, just, oh, I'm scared, I'm gonna run. That's not what I want. Oh, four levels. I was wrong, four levels. So I got, uh, I got the forgotten power and then the, the final dungeon of the act confused. All right, so how do I know that it's only four? Because my quest log opened up again and it wants me to kill Andario, which we will be doing, definitely. There are going to be other enemies here, so you want to take your time by killing Spirit Skull the Mad, who is cursed. I did hear a charm drop. Oh no, scale mail. That sounded a little weird. Is it good? Um, what do you got again? Faster hit recovery. No, you can have lightning resist now. Awesome. Usually you find stuff better. Did you open the door? Damn you. There are a lot of enemies here. Usually. <laughs> I always have to say usually because you never know with this game. It's always random. But usually there are a lot of enemies here. And so you want to be kind of slow. Really, just move. I clicked it. I can't. I clicked it like four times. Why don't you pick it up? Ooh, all right. Now I wish I had saved the, the scroll of identify for that. Alright, you want to take out the shamans as always. The strategy does not change just because you are in the final final part of the dungeon here. And I heard something drop down there. It sounded like a shield to me. Yeah, a large shield. But it didn't have any items on it, so I don't care. Or any magic. It's it's white. Who cares about the white stuff? I only care about the blue stuff now. And and the yellow stuff. Mostly yellow. Okay, don't you don't you open that door. Uh, I'm going to What am I gonna do here? Yeah, I'm gonna go to town just so I can get the heal and I'll clear out my inventory. Uh, there's definitely going to be some good items on the other side. Okay, that ring that I picked up actually was uh, worthwhile for me to change out. I did have a plus to, to attack rating, plus to life radius, and plus to uh, mana. But right now, especially, fire resist is more important. It is more important overall, but definitely, definitely right now, because, spoiler alert, Indario uses fire. Now, there are going to be enemies on the other side of this door that are not Andario. And apparently they want to get in a train for me to, to kill them. Uh, and Ariel is further up there. Uh, you want to try to take out, you know, like I said, go slow. You don't want to aggro her too early. You don't want to aggro her until almost everything around her is dead. Does that make sense? I thought it would. Uh, because... Yeah. Because she, you know, she's pretty tough all by herself. You don't need... Who are you shooting? Okay. She's, she's quite a ways up there, so you shouldn't feel too much pressure, but unfortunately there are going to be like shamans and stuff up there that you'll want to get. Uh, just try to hold off for now. Um, There's going to be a lot of gold here that you want to pick up on the sides here. Whew. Did the shaman die? No, the shaman's still going. Still hanging out over there. I think... I think I'm gonna risk it. Nope, there's Andario. All right, now we run. Oh, Mahalo is not running, so I'm gonna stay with her. I have no choice but to heal here. Uh, no, damn it! No, 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 run, 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 run. All right, so Mahala died because I wasn't quick enough on the draw, so I'm going to go back to town, resurrect her. It's going to cost me quite a bit of gold, and uh, I'll buy some more potions. Uh, usually I don't have a problem there, but just wasn't quick enough to heal. Reviving Mahala only took me about 1,400 gold, so it wasn't nearly as bad as I thought. Um, they only had minor healing potions in town. That's okay. Was there anything better down here? Uh, she usually doesn't. Uh, come down here if you run. You kind of have to lure her out. Uh, she doesn't heal if you go back to town, so feel free to do that all day. Like I said, look at her. Half health. How is she already dead? 
How is she already dead? Screw it, Mahala. We're doing this without you. I don't need you, Mahala. I can run all by myself. <laughs> Let's get out of here for a second. Uh, luckily, I do have the... the what do you call it? The uh, poison duration down. Ah, crap. I used it too soon. But she's almost dead. Down she goes. Yes, she was naked. Holy crap, did she drop some good stuff. Uh, so let me pick all this up if I can. Uh, the skull. That's the, the third level of skull. I am and it automatically opens My up. Work here is finished. Yes, yes it is. Uh, it automatically opens up a... Let's just put this in here for now, for, for, for safekeeping, I swear. I'll move him back eventually. Let's pick up that long bow. Um, the, the skull is a third tier of, of the gems for the skulls. Uh, the amulet is going to be better than what I have right now. Not, there's no question. Those are always good. Chain gloves are probably going to be better. It's going to be awesome. Uh, I do need to go back to town, revive Mahala. Uh, it's not that important that she lives. I was amazed how quickly she died. Apparently she could not take a hit to save her life. Holy crap, did Mahala suck at that. And you guys were like, I bet some of you were saying like, Oh, I can't believe Mahala's doing all the work for you. Yeah, she does shit against bosses, let me tell you. Pick that up. Why not? Just clear out the rest of the enemies here. You shouldn't have too much of a problem, even without your mercenary. And I finally get that level up. I thought that I would get that on Andariel and it would have been awesome. But it did not happen. Alright, let's go over here. Grab all this gold. And it looks like that is actually it here. Uh, let's look at the quest log. Return to Warv to take the caravan east. That will be the end of the act when we do that. Uh, so let's talk to everybody else instead. Good What's up, Deckard King? You. This is a great victory indeed, but many more battles await. I will accompany you on your journey, lending what assistance I can. Remember, Diablo is still out there, seeking something in the desert. I'm afraid that this nightmare will not end until you find what it is that he seeks. That's nice to identify my items. But yes, he's going to be coming with us. He is, like I said, a very important character in this game. Uh, so basically, uh, he wants us to go east because that's the way he thinks and, uh, Diablo is going to go. I almost said Andario, but we just killed Andario. What's up, Kasia? I need to talk to you anyway. Andario's death brings about renewed life for us all. We mourn the loss of our dear sisters, but at least now we can get on with our lives. I may have misjudged you, Outlander. You are a true hero, and testament to the noble spirit which has inspired our order for generations. Farewell, my friend. Awesome. Can I have Mahala back? Thank you. She does come with all her equipment. Yeah, so I don't know why she sucked so damn much when she got hit. She has a higher defense than I do. She has 187. I have... 91. She has almost twice the defense that I do, and she sucked against Andario. I don't know what the hell happened. Let's talk to Akara. She definitely. Everybody has something to say, so Greetings. let's talk to everybody. Finally, we may rejoice. We owe you a debt we can never repay. I only hope that in time we will be able to rebuild our order. All our thanks go with you, my friend. Thank you, I guess. Uh, I will trade, once again, off-screen. Uh, because, well, I know that some of the items that I got are better. We'll talk to Wariv War last. Let's talk to Charcy instead. You have something to say, don't Good you? Day. You don't? Sisters to the slaughter? You got nothing? You'll probably go east now. It was good to know you. I hope you'll come back if you ever need anything. I'll come back when I finally have something for you to imbue. Uh, but for now, I don't... I don't think Geed has anything to say. Hello! Nothing important, at least. <laughs> I'm gonna party like it's 9 dollars 
Well, there you go. Prince reference, just just for the record. Okay, so that is everybody except for Warv. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Talking to him doesn't automatically take you east or anything like that. So feel free to talk to him. The caravan is prepared. We may now journey eastward to loot Golain. Luke Lane is definitely our next stopping point, but I do need to finish this level up here. Level 17, one away from the important one, and let's put one more into Blessed A. Once again, I'm going to go with uh, full 20 on that one. Now, uh, let's go ahead and equip this, because it's, uh, yeah, look at that. It's even got Replenish Life on this. Uh, like It's always random, but uh, I knew it was going to be better. Replenish Life plus four, plus two strength, plus one dexterity, fire resist. Plus, what was the fire resist? Plus seven. And then these are definitely going to be better than what I had before. Uh, even though it's got the poison resist and poison length reduced. <sighs> it's hard to give that up. But, and this has higher defense. Uh, plus attack rating. A little bit of poison resist. You know, is this better? Actually, it's not better. What the hell? And then life stolen per hit? That's actually pretty damn good. It's not going to do as much damage overall, I don't think. But Put that to good use. Oh, 10 to 30. Put that to good How much use. of that is poison? Yeah, 38 of that is poison, which... Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to keep her on this one because she does... Uh, she's going to need the, the life stolen, I guess. But I do like my poison damage. Oh, well. It is gone.